afternoon and good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture just to see how it affects our delayed daily lives. We are about to review Kings of Napa, so I apologize. Apparently, Oprah does takes away uh, episodes on on demand. So I have missed the first episode, so we're just going to have to jump into the second episode. I'll put the title down here in the screen. Uh, I'm, I've started watching, and so uh, from what I have gathered, uh, Reginald King has a vineyard. I guess it's the King Vineyard. And he, right, and he has passed away in the first episode. Some revelations have come out in the first episode that he had a baby with his wife's sister. Um, he is being blackmailed, and the family, the children in the family, are not squabbling at this point, but struggling to run this vineyard uh, with the different plans that each one of them has. So August and Yanni goes to Yanni's mother to ask what who was blackmailing, but she doesn't know. Apparently, he was owing her some money. She does something, and he owed her some money. House of Kings, that's the name of the winery. And uh, the wife is hosting Black Girls Do Wine. And uh, they are having a good old time. She looks stressed in a mug, though, after finding that her and her, her sister was sleeping with her husband okay i misspoke the girl's name is bridget not yanni i used her, her 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 government name but her her name in the show is uh bridget so she went to her siblings about the blackmail uh august did they had a little meeting and uh i don't know what the little guy's name is her but it's her brother uh dana i think his name is dana dana she went to dana and dana talked to the blackmailer and the blackmailer was like look I'm right out here. I've been a popped your mama in just one boo-boo second. Y'all need to pay me my money. And so they are begrudgingly paying money that they really, truly don't have. Also, Christian, uh, who's supposed to be out in the vines, he's he's uh, he's just that kid that thinks he's just so cool that everything is just going to come to him quickly without any... Uh, I guess he just thinks he's going to get it. And he gets out there and the guy who's over the vines is telling him, hey, you're late. You're not taking this seriously. Since you're not taking this seriously, why don't you go buy you a gold chain? Why don't you go do something? Because this is serious business. And he's and Christian is feeling some kind of way about that. Oh, did y'all notice I'm in a new location? My cable connect came through. <laughs> they all look good. I don't know what this is, but the uh, some of the acting is a little deadpan. But you know, I'm I, I, it's my new show, so I'm gonna have to stick beside it. I don't know, Miss British, Miss Miss British thing giving me she knows something about this bank. She knows something about it. <laughs> Not Andy Oakley. So August, Bridget, and Dana are going to meet with the uh, blackmailer. Dana is is. Little bossy and scary at the same time. Oh, so Christian is going talking with Yvette because he's feeling some kind of way about not being able to get the the workers to respect him. So he's trying to find ways to do that. Dana say he finna tell the truth. Is Dana gonna make it? What's going on? So some lady came to the table. Now I don't know who she is, but they all didn't seem to like her. But Dana seems to think she was hot. Dana has is basically telling them, hey. In order to get out from under this, we got to tell everybody the truth. We got to talk about it and we got to make sure everything is out in the open because we can't continue to be keeping up a lie that their father started, particularly with this blackmail, and they don't have the money for the blackmail. So we'll see. Oh, that's a beautiful scene. The mountains. So Dana didn't tell, he backed up. He didn't tell. His wife is mad because his wife wants him to take over, I guess, the business. Uh-oh, 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 baby, you almost tripped. Who is this? Oh, that's Bridget. Bridget's painting, and she done found some letters to something. We should have found a couple of tapes. Oh, so the girl at the restaurant is the lawyer, uh, uh, is a wife, estranged wife, according to him, but still. No, August, he, he, he is what he's portraying to be. He's just trying to fool you. He got you fooled. Look at it. Love letters and mixtapes. 
Child. Girl, she done told the ladies that they love the wine. The lady in the back said, oh, she's spilling all the tea. Oh, black excellence and infidelity. Why are you mad at the baby? She didn't do anything. So let me tell y'all what's happening. Bridget found le love letters from her father to her mother. So she goes and she gives it to Ashton. August, excuse me. I'm going to get their names right. While she's giving it to August, instead of them going outside or going someplace else, they sit in the house with the door open talking about it. And uh, August's mother, who was the wife, Vanessa, hears them. She gets the letter. She gets upset. She gets mad. And then the ladies who love to wine have come to, to the, to the uh, winery to discuss the wine. And she just, Vanessa just ish, dishes out all her little business about what's going on in her family. The craziness ensues. I just think they just tell Vanessa everything. There's no need to piecemeal her and, and baby her or anything like that. They need to let her know what's going on. So as I have not seen the first episode, I don't know what job uh, Bridget had with the winery before um, Mr. King died. <laughs> so August is not going to bring Bridget back. You done sold out your mama for nothing. Oh, Dana getting it in. He's still working on to take over the company and his wife is working on him. Ooh, Vanessa going off on her sister. And see, you signed that agreement to bring her back. Now she's going to get all, she wants all that money up front. Y'all going to lose that winery. Yeah, you made a calculated decision and it was wrong. Because your Aunt Vanessa's going to call in that loan. Child, I don't know. The acting is a little shaky, but the storyline is good because I want to know who's blackmailing who. And I want to see Vanessa shake. So are y'all watching Kings of Napa? Let me know. If you've watched the first uh, season one, episode one, let me know down in the comments. And as always, we got, uh, well, wait a minute. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you are uh, a subscriber. And we'll see you for the next episode. Bye-bye.